I am Amy Russert. This is my seventh year on the patrol. And I started on the patrol as a lifeguard. And I thought it was great because I could spend my summers outside at the lake, which I absolutely love. And so it was a great opportunity to start working and then progress on to teaching some of the lessons, which is what I love. Uh, the summer program is so important to Lake Geneva as a community because it gives uh, children an opportunity to learn how to swim in the lake, which is quite different from swimming in a pool. It gives a number of families who want to be able to afford swimming lessons otherwise an opportunity to learn the most valuable skill, and it's a life-saving skill. So it gives a lot of children that have no background, no awareness about the lake, an opportunity to learn how to swim in the lake, learn how to survive in the lake if they were ever in an accident. Well, I've taken beginning one through water masters and I have taken water masters twice because I wanted to make sure that I knew everything I could learn from the exams. The class I took at Water Safety Patrol was like the boating lessons class and it lasted like you know, three days and then the final day there was a test and on the two days before it we would go over the, the, the rules of the way. The instructors because they were like really nice and they taught very very well and they were really clear on their subjects if I had a question, they would explain it to me, so yeah. My, one of my dreams is to get into USA State Nationals and one of my most favorite dreams are getting on to the water safety. What would Lake Geneva be without the Water Safety Patrol? I'd hate to think what it would be like. I was at Abbey Springs on the beach, sitting, talking to some friends, and some lady starts screaming, she's drowning, she's drowning, call 911. So people frantically start, were grabbing for their phones, trying to call 911. So I ran onto the pier and was trying to flag down the water safety boat, and as I was running onto the pier, the lifeguard was pulling this girl from the water and her face was blue, her body was lifeless, and she was being pulled from the water. So I jumped in to rescue her and pulled her out of the water and pulled her to the swim pier and began CPR. She had no pulse and wasn't responding. And I began to do chest compressions and provide medical care for her. And she became responsive again and um, immediately the boat crew and rescue squad was on scene to help me out with oxygen and administrate other services. Seeing somebody basically lifelessness um, to becoming alive again was inexplainable. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it, but um, I think that with everybody working as a team, we couldn't have done it. That girl wouldn't have made it. So, but I couldn't believe how they were all these young people. They had a job to do. They knew what to do, and they did it. And they were completely calm, completely controlled, and they saved her life. Uh, Geneva is probably the most unique lake, not only in the state but probably the country. Uh, and uh, boat traffic is incredible for a boat that size, from rentals to excursion to private boats and a, a yacht club. Uh, and the lake can get so rough, uh, I can't even imagine after working so many years on the lake what would happen if that organization wasn't there to, you know, help people in need and to keep things under control. Well, we, we've got such a busy lake, Lake Geneva, uh, that uh, uh, something like the Water Safety Patrol would really be uh, vital to the lake. We would have many more drownings, many more boat accidents. If Lake Geneva didn't have Water Safety Patrol, I'm not sure what would happen.